We're so glad you're with us today. It's an event that hopes to change the conversation. Frank Minifield and Kay Collier McLaughlin are here to tell us about Talking Together, a promise to the future of the planet, and they're going to tell us all about it. Thanks for coming in. This sounds like such an important project. What's it all about? Well, it's about just trying to change the dialogue and mm -hmm. trying to get everybody to get on the same page and and to try to strip away some of those biases that we all share at, at different times in our lives. Uh, I, I'm sure most of us grow out of it, but everybody don't grow out of it, and it causes problems for all of us. Kay, we've come through a, a rough election year in this uh, country. There's been a lot of uh, discourse and so forth, and this is a, an opportunity now to uh, to get out there and, uh, and maybe settle some things down, but also highlight some important issues. We hope so. Uh, there's been so much conversation about the need for us to speak to each other differently and listen to each other more, but there's not been any conversation about how to accomplish that and this is really more a how-to and the genesis of it actually was not the election that's more of a punctuation um, because in my work as a consultant I've seen this growing this divisiveness and polarization for at least 15 years I think the survivor mentality uh, you know get off <laughs> um, and um, the anonymity of online. There's so many things that have given people some sort of permission to speak in ways that, as I said, I would have been sent to my room with my mouth washed out. Well, at least this way, a productive conversation is what we're after. Uh, yeah. So yes. it sounds yep. like a really yep. great idea there. Uh, Frank, so many people remember your football days and the, the NFL and all that. What's your message going to be to people? Well, you know, I. When I, when I think about me growing up here in Lexington, Kentucky and thinking about um, some of the bad things I was taught in the housing projects and, um, and, and, and I think back to some of the things that people said that kind of came ingrained in, in who I am and it took a long time for me to grow out of those, those bad things. Um, you know, um, you kind of become a product of your environment and you learn those people in that environment teaches you a lot of things that um, you wish you hadn't learned, but uh, nevertheless, uh, those things went in your head. And, and, and so I'm, I'm trying to help Kay because, you know, I, I think of Pikeville, for instance. In my neighborhood, uh, nobody had anything good to say about Pikeville. So all my all the years I was growing up, I was kind of scared to death of Pikeville because of some things I people said to me about Pikeville and what they taught me about Pikeville. I didn't know where Pikeville was at, but and now some of my best friends are in Pikeville. You know, I've been I go to Pikeville all the time, um, and so I just think back about those things people was teaching me about things that I didn't even know anything about, but I took it and I ran with it and I used it. And um, Very good. Well, I know you'd like uh, for people to register ahead of time so that you know uh, who is uh, going to be coming, talking together, a promise to the future of the planet. Uh, a very important occasion coming up uh, soon. Carnegie Center this Friday, right? Yes, this Friday and Saturday. Very Thanks good. for coming. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you all. Good.